Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be a single color ice dye in the shade Winter White from Pro Chemical and Dye. Start by smoothing out as many wrinkles as you can, and then decide where you want the center of your spiral to be and give it a little pinch. Now using the microwave splatter guard and a hemostat, I'm going to create the spiral. So I click the hemostat down on the first click because it does not need to be overly tight. And then I give it maybe three, four, five twists. And then with my opposite hand, I actually create the spiral. Now I get asked quite a bit, why do I use a microwave splatter guard? Well, the reason is because it creates very uniform pleats. It's the closest thing to creating a pleated spiral without actually doing all the hard work of creating a pleated spiral. So I go around until I can't go any farther using the splatter guard. I unclick the hemostat, hold down the center of the spiral, and then I gently wiggle the hemostat out. Now I like to secure my spirals by using rubber bands. And I am using my favorite rubber bands, and these ones happen to be in the color green. If you look down below in the description box, you will find links for everything that I use for tie-dye, and you'll find a link for these, and uh, they're listed as purple. If I listed every single color of rubber band, I wouldn't have any room to write anything else. Now, this uh, microwave splatter guard doesn't create an overly tight spiral so what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling on all of those loose tails and I'm tucking them into the nearest rubber band that way when I need to pick up the spiral move it flip it whatever it's not going to fall apart on me Next, I need to create some type of an ice barrier, and I like to use these silicone cake molds. I get them from Amazon, and you will find the link down below in the description box. Now, sometimes the silicone cake molds aren't the same size as the project, so all I do is secure it with a paper clip. Super easy. Now it's time for the fun part, and my favorite part, we get to add the die. And I'm using my funnel scoop that I got from boredomwithjen.com. If you look down below in the description box, you will find a link for her website, www.boredomwithjen.com. Now, the Pro Chem two ounce size jar is too small for this scoop. So I just kind of dumped it on in there. And now I'm just gonna do a half and half spiral on this. So when you do a half and half spiral, you wanna make sure that you take your die through the center of the spiral. Now this die is like baby powder, so it's not coming out of the scoop very well. So I'm just using my pleating tool that I got from Jen and John and tapping on the back of the spoon and it really helps the die come out nice and uniform. And then I use the back of the scoop just to sort of spread it out a little bit. I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. Even though the shirt's been pre-soaked in soda ash, I wanna make sure that the pH stays up around 10.5 to 11. Now, this is the fun part. I had snow, so I'm going to be snow dyeing this one. So I'm packing it on really heavy. I have this all placed down inside of a bowl that I got from the dollar store, and this is called a muck dye because I'm just going to let this snow melt and then I'm going to set it and forget it. And I don't touch it, I don't disturb it, I don't move it, I don't do anything unless I absolutely have to. So really, set it and forget it. 
trust the muck. And then it's recommended that you let your project batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours after your ice or your snow melts. And I let this project batch for the full 48 hours. So look at that. There's not a lot to the muck water on this one. And it's floating around and moving in there because I had to carry it from the table over here. There's not a lot of saturation on the back. And I'm actually surprised that I even have any saturation on the front. You know, with winter white, you're thinking it's just going to be white. Okay, for the rinse out, you want to start by using cold water to remove any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric. And especially if you're going to be trying to protect white, you want to make sure to get all of the soda ash out of the project. And then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. The hot water removes any unbonded dye so it goes down the sink and it doesn't go into your washing machine. From here I take the project to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Curalon. Curalon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And you can find the links down below in the description box. Then I will put the project in the dryer and I'll iron it. And then we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our single color ice dye in the shade Winter White from Pro Chemical and Dye. And I'm actually surprised that I even have this much saturation on this shirt. You know, Winter White, white dye, you're assuming it's going to be white. But you know, how can anything be nothing? Like I think about uh, diet sodas, for instance, where it's zero calories. I mean, how is that even possible? Because you're consuming something. So with white, and I'm doing like the little air quotations, with white dye, you know, how are you going to just have nothing and just have white? Now I know a lot of liquid dyers use this as a placeholder instead of using thickened dye with the sodium alginate. So, as ice dyers though, you know, we are looking for things that split and show out some color. So this particular color, it's a really pretty amber color and then there's some blues and then there's just very faintly, maybe a little bit of reds, but not a lot. And you know, for a color that's claiming to be winter white, you wouldn't think there would be much. But, you know, I'm kicking off the single color ice dye playlist for pro chemical and dye and this is at the top of the list so i'm going to start here and work my way on down so what do you guys think of winter white from pro chem please leave me some comments down below thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all that way you get notified of future uploads and remember have fun tie-dyeing.